Okay, I'll try and keep this video as short as I possibly can. However, we do want to cover a few things. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Tim from How Do I Do This Zero One. Um, you can contact me at the uh, same name with my Yahoo ID, How Do I Do This Zero One at yahoo.com. That will give you uh, my email address. Also, it will give you my current um, Yahoo Messenger uh, contact point. So if you do want to use uh, Yahoo Messenger, which is going to be the focus of our, our lesson today, is the, the Yahoo Messenger uh, main window and the, and the, uh, the drop-downs and the different things you can do. A lot of people use the program, but they're not real sure about how to do certain things and what to do, um, specifically regarding people that are annoying or, or imposing themselves on you and you really don't want people to bother you. Um, part of the reason to, to go to a public chat room is to go there to chat. In some cases, some people take that to an extreme and do start to harass and intimidate you. And I'm going to show you basically some steps how you can set them to ignore, um, set your um, Yahoo Messenger up so that people can't just pop up on your screen all the time. Um, basically help you to stop someone from contacting you if you don't want them to. And uh, also how to report them in the event of uh, somebody spamming you and you really don't appreciate it, which I can understand completely. Um, so we're going to cover that really quickly here. Now, uh, what we need to do here first is, is this is the main window for your Yahoo Messenger. Now you'll notice I can close this window and you don't really need to have this show the message every single time because it gets annoying. However, if you go down here on your um, start menu bar down by your clock, you'll notice a little smiley face. If you double click it, that will bring open the window again for Yahoo Messenger. It's very critical that you learn how to do this so you can access these, these key points and these preferences that you want to go ahead and change. Now there's many things you can change in here. You can change your appearance, you can change your pictures, you can change your status message, you can change all kinds of other things. Um, your camera settings, if you have a video camera, your your audio settings for the camera, your um, just a whole different load of stuff. You can set up to save your your instant messages so that if somebody is harassing you, you can turn the instant messenger on. And I'll show you that real quick here. If you go down here to preferences, if you click on preferences again, mind the shortcut buttons because they are handy to have um, and to use if you're using programs. Now, part of what you can do, um, just so you know, if somebody is harassing you, you can click on Archive, and you can click right here where it says, Do you want to save archive messages you send and receive in this computer? In other words, do you want to save all the messages that come to you and that you send out? This is a good idea, especially if you're, you're trying to track someone who's, who's being exceptionally naughty. Um, you can basically save this information then you can print it out on a on a piece of paper or several sheets of paper if somebody's harassing you and you can have visual proof that somebody has in fact been sending you threatening messages or what have you and then you can view it or you can clear your icon archive um, I go ahead and set all my accounts to yes save on my all my messages because you can always go back and delete them later and you can clear your archive right here and you want to click apply Okay, now we would go ahead and click OK, which I will go ahead and do, and it'll bring you back to this main page. Now we're going to focus on um, how to set people to ignore. If somebody is not on your list, and you'll notice I only have four here because this is basically a, a user account I use for testing and for teaching. You can change your, your ID, but uh, Let's say we want to contact somebody or somebody contacts you and gives you their email address and says, hey, contact me, you know, whatever. Um, what you can do is in order to block them or in order to, to track them or stop them from sending you unwanted messages, you can click here. Now you'll notice at the very top of this list, it says, send an instant message. Now what you're going to want to do is they're not on your list. You don't want anything to do with them. However, in most cases, if you'll notice here, you have a name. Anytime somebody pops up a window on Yahoo Messenger, it will contain the name at the top of the box. 
the top of the box is the key. You can type in that name at the top of the window and that will give you their Yahoo ID. That Yahoo ID can be tracked and you can use that to do the next step. You can get that ID. You can click other contacts. You can then type that ID into this line right here. In this case, let's go Now if I type in, how do I do this 01, and I click OK, it will pop up a window. Now you'll notice that it's, not, it's not on my list, and I'm not going to put it on there because this is just a demonstration. However, in this demonstration you've opened up a window to send them a message. Now you don't really want to start sending threatening messages back. You do want to ignore them and block them. What you can do is once you've opened this window, is you can ignore the user and you can click this checkbox that says report as spam. Once you do that, you click OK. This will send an instant message to the Yahoo uh, tech support group and they will in fact investigate it if you're sending um, several of them or if they're using several IDs um, and you keep getting the same types of, of threatening or menacing type emails or instant messages you can use this as a forum to contact Yahoo and say, look, there's a problem. I need you to help me fix this. Again, if you have your archives turned on, so you're saving all this stuff, really will be advantageous for your cause. If you want to keep people from bothering you, um, it's a good thing to do. Now let's cover the next step. Now if you don't want to contact somebody, you can simply deny them onto your list. However, a lot of people I've seen in chat rooms tend to want to argue and fight, and that's perfectly their right to go ahead and chat and fight and do whatever they want. However, I personally don't want people popping up on my screen just out of the blue. Now, I'm sure most people out there who have Yahoo Messenger or other um, chat programs, uh, Messenger programs, have pop-ups where they constantly are getting windows popping up when you're trying to type to somebody who you're... you're you know, having a conversation with or an instant message session with and you don't want to be bothered. What you can do is click again on preferences. Now once you open this up on preferences you can go, well if it ever gets around to this, if it opens up preferences you can go up here to ignore list. Now the ignore list, I have no one here ignored, however right above it it says ignore anyone who is not on my messenger list, which means if I'm in a public chat room, I can chat with anybody who's in the room in a public chat. However, they cannot pop up on my screen if I click right here. So if I, oh, if I go into a public chat room and I don't want somebody coming into my personal space, um, i.e. popping up on your own desktop screen or your own computer screen, you just click this right here, click apply, click OK, and now you have eliminated the possibility of them coming in and invading your personal space. Again, if, if they work around it or if they're using a server program and they're harassing you, please make sure that you have your, your settings there on your archives um, to go ahead and do that. Um, I urge you to go ahead and get used to these drop-downs. Check what each one of these drop-downs will allow you to do and then use them accordingly. Each one of these things can be very useful and in some cases a lot of fun. You can share photos and chat and do all kinds of fun stuff. If you don't practice, if you don't learn these things, you're never going to um, learn what you can do with this program. It's pretty versatile and you can share some pretty neat stuff, uh, swapping files, but use caution swap files only with people that you know or that you trust. Um, make sure that uh, you get some credentials if they're trying to help you out. Make sure you know who they are first. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, please rate this video. Um, thank you again for watching. Um, please contact me if you have any questions or want um, information on how to do other things. Thanks again for your time. Have a great day. Good luck and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.